This is day one of the 2017 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. It's late May on the Tennessee River, and if you're fishing to win, you're probably fishing deep. Past couple years, I think it's been one off a ledge, and uh, it's all about the water movement. This rain that's come through in the past few days is going to help a lot. Uh, the weather's been great. They're pulling plenty of current, unlike last year. Um, so the fish are setting up really well, but just getting them to bite and not having to compete with other people for those schools, that's, that's been the struggle. When I was coming up, you know, you had paper maps. You know, you had your grandpa that fished here 20 years ago. I mean, that was the kind of information you had. With social media and today's technology, these guys are on top of the latest, newest techniques and all of the newest and latest electronics, and they're catching. I think the biggest challenge is, is just managing the other teams on the water, you know. All these guys got the electronics to be able to get out there. Garmin is so good right now. When you get out there and you start graphing, you can see the schools of fish. But then it's how do you manage that and how do you catch it? You know, without mentioning too much, we have so much on the horizon, you know, with our with our Echo Maps, with Panoptics, with our 7600 series, you know, all those all the pros out there running the GPS, the touch screen. We have the best engineers at Garmin and there's just, we're, there's everything they come out with is nothing short of amazing. So I'm excited to, you know, for the next year um, and announcing a new product. It's, it's going to be, a, it's going to be good for Garmin. You know, being a Garmin guy myself, one of the reasons I decided to switch to Garmin is because I felt like they were ahead of the curve in technology. Panoptics, as an example, is going to play huge here. Being able to identify those schools of gizzard shad offshore without getting directly on top of the fish and then being able to pinpoint them and put a cast right on those fish. That's the sort of advantage that I think you're going to need to have in order to take the crown here in a collegiate national championship. Not to mention some other features with the mapping like the depth shading. Being able to run directly to that depth range that you're seeking where you found bass before, scan over the area, see if the fish are there or not, and then move on. I think efficiency is going to be key and utilizing those Garmin electronics is going to certainly put you ahead of the game.